children at home, you're welcome to our social studies class. Um, and for Larry, we'll be looking at national water supply. National water supply. But before we continue, we'll be looking at our last topic for discussion. In our last lesson, we look at personal hygiene and physical development. And we learned that personal hygiene means keeping our body, our nails, our hair, and even environment clean at all time. We also look at physical development. We say it means the different stages of growth of an individual, and such growths are noticeable. They are noticeable. E.g., as an infant, we become adolescents, adults, and even we attain old age. We gave instances with our grandparents. We also observe that changes occur in children when they reach the age of 10 and above. We say girls generally grow bigger than the boys at this age. Then the boys' voice becomes deeper. We say the girls begin to develop breasts and they get bigger, among other things. And we also establish certain things that hinder growth, such as children that are not well fed. We also look at children that do not sleep often. We look at poor ventilation, among other things. And we also learn that we should eat balanced diet. We should not live in dirty environments. We should allow fresh air into our houses, our classrooms, our offices, etc. Today, we'll be looking at national water supply. Now, we all use water every day. And there's this popular slogan that says water is life. Even our earth, 75% of the earth, that's the atmosphere, the earth itself contains water. Now, there are two major sources of water supply. That's the natural and the unnatural. We call the unnatural artificial. Now, what are these natural sources of water? When we talk about natural sources, we're talking about gift of nature, like rivers, stream, lake, sea, and ocean. These are not man-made. So what do we mean by natural, or natural or artificial sources? These are things like pipe bone, water, the wells, boreholes, reservoirs, etc. Now, why is water sometimes scarce? There are a lot of lakes, rivers, seas around the world. And there are equally pipe on water and borehole. But in spite of the presence of these natural and artificial sources of water, water is still scarce. Why? There are some people who find it difficult to get water from their immediate environment. So some people have to travel long distances to get water. And scarcity of water could be as a result of climate change. When we have low rainfall, wasted of water by some consumers. Children at home, try your best not to play with water. Some of us, once they bring water in the pipe bone, in the tap, we just go and open it and keep playing. When we do that, we will face scarcity of water. Sometimes the pipe bursts. Sometimes ineffective equipment causes it. And then irregular payment of water rates also affect it. And what is the consequence of this water shortage? It is not healthy for the nation or the society at all. Because water is life. And so water shortage could have grave consequences. Some of these consequences could be that there will be an outbreak or prevalence of diseases such as cholera, typhoid, etc. 
and there is decrease in time spent on labor due to the amount of the search of water. When you keep looking for water up and down, by the time you come back, you will be so tired. And then, what are the ways that we can solve this water sh shortage? As citizens, we should try to use the water well as residents. And then government should endeavor to sink more wells and boreholes across the country. Also, we should try to install modern water facility to boost water provision across the country. We can also solve the problem of water shortage by, allow, by avoiding water wastage. Most Nigerians are used to wasting water. The government should ensure that a public enlightenment campaign should be embarked upon. Children at home, make use of our class forum to drop your questions and then remind your parents to bring your books to the school so that we can mark on Friday and then they will pick it on Monday. Please, if you are joining this platform for the first time, we have done a lot. Try your best to update yourself in your WAP Social Studies textbook page from page 50 to 53. But for those that have been following, we will take our assignments on page 53 of our WAP textbook and we should try to read our textbook on water, national water supply. Stay safe. Thank you.